Welcome back to Black TV, and you're watching Black TV Bytes, where we get to hyper focus on one aspect of the crypto sphere and then we break it down a bit. So, Facebook's Libra isn't doing too well as of late. The big news last week was that all of the major payment processors that were meant to be a part of the Libra Association have backed out of the project, including Visa, MasterCard, and PayPal. Now, what was a 27 member association has gone down to 21, although project head David Marcus still believes that the association will grow to the initial aim of 100 members. It is assumed that the reason for the departures have everything to do with the intense regulatory pressure that surrounds Libra. The New York Times reports that in an attempt to gracefully resolve these issues, Facebook has dedicated at least eight lobbyists to Libra since the project was publicly introduced in June. Last week, Mark Zuckerberg himself went in for the save when he had a closed-door meeting with the House Financial Services Committee's chair, Representative Maxine Waters, and its ranking Republican Representative McHenry. David Marcus had a similar set of meetings and gave speeches defending Libra to global leaders meeting at the World Bank, along with a meeting of the Group of 30, an international organization of people in the finance world and academics. In addition, Marcus met with staff for Democratic and Republican members of the House Committee. But the U.S. is not the only place Facebook should be concerned about. The G7, representing some of the most powerful governments in the world, issued a highly critical report that warned about the potential dangers of cryptocurrencies. Even within the U.S., Republicans, who have been generally more open to the idea of Libra since it was announced in June, have expressed concern about the organization of the company, most notably that it is based in Geneva. Criticism is not only coming from regulators. Jamie Dimon, CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, is not a Libra believer. Speaking this past Friday at a conference via the Institute of International Finance, Dimon had said that while Facebook stablecoin is a, quote, neat idea, it isn't going to happen. Take a look. One, Jimmy, one technology innovation that's getting a lot of headlines is Libra. Do you have an opinion on Libra? Sustainable, not sustainable, real, not real? It was a neat idea that will never happen. All right. And I have nothing else to say about it. <laughs> and we, by, we already have stable coins. So they're, they're not the first to do that. So you have a JP Morgan stable coin? We have a JP Morgan stable coin called JP Morgan coin. It's, it's backed by a dollar, so it's really stable. And uh, so. Um, <laughs> Diamond is pretty much saying that one company having a stable coin is no different than any other company having one. However, Diamond is underestimating the power and reach of the company in question, which could have an effect on how many people end up using the asset. Aside from that, yes, stable coins all essentially serve the same purpose. Each one exists as a digital equivalent to using fiat with that specific company. It seems that the Libra team is still open to changing the initial plan, though. While speaking at a banking seminar, David Marcus said that the group's main goal remained to create a more efficient payment system, but it was open to looking at a alternative approaches for the current for the currency token it would use. The proposal is that instead of having a synthetic unit backing the Libra, the company could have a series of stable coins, such as a dollar stable coin, a euro stable coin, a sterling pound stable coin, and so on. He did clarify that he was not suggesting currency pegged stable coins were the group's new preferred option, but that the company mission is the most important thing. So a lot of turmoil surrounds Libra at the moment. However, we will know more on October 23rd when Mark Zuckerberg testifies in front of the House Financial Committee. Whether this will help or hurt Libra is still to be determined, but it is definitely an exciting moment that feels like the crypto sphere is being given a lot of attention. That was Block TV Bytes for today. Keep on watching for more cryptocurrency and blockchain related news. For more news and updates, follow us on Twitter.